We're back. St. Jude and Fivish took a brief hiatus due to COVID and the transition of our host, Heather Rieger, from St. Jude to the health system. I'm pleased to announce, well, actually, I'm unfortunately going to be your new host, and together we will meet the people who make St. Jude extraordinary and explore the great and amazing things happening here. And there is a lot. Today, it's my pleasure to have Laura Ramos join us, partly because she's an integral part of our leadership team, but more importantly, as usual, if I flub up, I know she'll cover me. Most of you know Laura, who first joined St. Jude in 2009 as manager of the critical care and step-down units. Later, she became director of cardiology, neurology, and emergency services, and was named our chief nursing officer and vice president of patient care services in 2014. In the last decade, she's played an important role in nearly every significant accomplishment at St. Jude. From our first magnet accreditation to our national recognition in stroke, orthopedics, and cardiac care. Most recently, she agreed to take on the role of COO. But when the new regional structure called for that position to be eliminated, unfortunately, she had to step back into the role of CNO. And Julie Kim, who was the CNO, stepped back into her previous role of executive director of nursing. Welcome, Laura. Glad you're here today. You and I collectively have a lot of years in healthcare, about 60 years. Uh, and we have never seen anything like, uh, like this disruption, the disruption that COVID has caused. So I'm going to start with some questions. When you look back at COVID and how St. Jude responded, what would you give St. Jude a straight A in? Well, the list is long. Uh, I'll, I'll start with that. But um, immediately I think about the, the commitment and the dedication of our caregivers and our physicians um, how the team has rallied and been so involved with clinical trials and exhaustively looking at how we can best care for our patients in our community. It is just phenomenal to observe. No, it is uh, awesome. It, you know, the, the, every time we walk through it, we're always impressed and amazed with uh, that level of dedication and commitment. And it's, it's, it's overwhelming sometimes to, to just the level of appreciation we have for all of you. Absolutely. All right. Can you think of some situations or interactions, something that you've observed that uh, you thought to yourself only at St. Jude? I have those observations often, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, we have the most amazing team. My words don't adequately express how, how I feel and the many observations I have. But as you said, times like, like today are, are times like we've never seen before. And and the team, the way that, that you continue to come together, even during times where I know fatigue is setting in and, and, and people are tired, because of how much you all, our team cares for each other, people keep coming in and they keep doing the best they can day after day. And, and with that, just the camaraderie, the, um, the enthusiasm to continue not only to take care of you know, our COVID-19 patients, but also all of our patients and continuing to, to be involved and be engaged. I just think I, I, that, you know, it just amazes me every time I come to work. I agree, only at St. Jude. Absolutely. All right, so this one's interesting. I, we, uh, we talk about our sleeping habits a lot. I don't sleep, Laura does sleep. However, Solid sleeper. <laughs> what wakes you up in the middle of the night with worry? Um, I sleep with my phone underneath my pillow because I am always um, wanting to know if, you know, if there is something happening or going on. Probably the thing I worry the most about or something that will wake me up is making sure that our team has um, the staff that we need, that we have the equipment that we need. Um, those, those are the sorts of things that, that worry, you know, worry me because I know that we have some, you know, we've had challenges, but together um, we, we continue to, to be able to, to meet the needs of our patients. Awesome. All right, let's see. What, uh, what gets you the most excited to start the workday? Uh, not to sound cheesy or anything, but I do genuinely, um, I am excited to come to work every single day. I, I care deeply for, um, for our team, for all of our staff, and um, you inspire me to want to continue to come to work, continue to uh, do the great work that we do together, and um, it's fun. 
All right, this one we need to think a little bit about. When you look back over the last several years, name some of your favorite memories. Oh, man, there's a bunch of them. Um, favorite memories. Uh, opening up the Southwest Tower was amazing. That's when I first came to St. Jude, and having that opportunity that I've never experienced before was amazing. And then many years later, then the Northwest Tower was also very memorable. Um, our magnet designation, that was a journey that we had been on for many, many years. And to, to um, have that designation, it was amazing. And you mentioned earlier on um, some of our, um, our designations, whether it be comprehensive stroke or advanced hip and knee, uh, recently CCS. Um, the list is so long. Um, and we, we've been able to obtain these designations um, not because we want that, you know, that award or designation, but it's really been about our, our journey yeah. of excellence. And so um, all of those things are just amazing memories. And I'm excited That's for awesome. the future. All right, so now's the part of the segment where we can try to get to know you a little bit better with some improv questions and okay. improv exercise here. Okay. I'll throw out a few questions and you try to answer them as quickly as you can with the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> What's the first concert you ever attended? Tom Petty. Tom Petty. That's good. No judgment there. <laughs> if you could win an Olympic medal for any sport, Real or fake? Oh, I think I know this one. What would it be? Um, gymnastics. Oh, I was close. I was going to say cheerleading. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> What's the most eccentric or odd thing about you? <laughs> Probably uh, when I, I try to say certain things. And, and they never come out right. Yeah. yeah. I knew that one too. I was going to say Laura-isms. All right. Where's the condiment question? I thought we we're going to... Uh, my question at this when I did this was, what was my favorite condiment? Um, mayonnaise. That's what my answer was. Oh, I love mayonnaise. Best foods. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thank you for so much for joining us today. And, um, you know, we'll... we'll uh, I'm sure maybe you'll fill in and host for me one time, but we'll, we'll do another one. But thank you for turning in. Till okay. next time. Stay strong, St. Jude.